Hello and welcome to another Excel at the office.com video. My name's Adrian. Here I'm going to show you pivot tables and pivot charts. So first of all, quickly how to make a pivot table. Then I'll show you some uh, more advanced features of customizing your pivot table. Then I'll show you how to make a pivot chart and then a shortcut to making that chart look nice and copying that chart settings to other pivot charts. So um, first of all, how to make a pivot table. What you're going to do here, I've got some data. So your raw data might look like this. If you're a kind of data anal analyzing noob, you might be thinking, oh, I'm quite clever. I've managed to put some filters on it so I can uh, filter my data. I've got a dummy, I've created a dummy employee database for Dunder Mifflin of the office. But filtering things, it's quite time consuming to select the things you want and then count at the bottom how many records that is. Oh, that's 42 or 49. But I want to summarize that data into a neat little table. So what you do, you go to insert and there's a handy button here, pivot table. It's selecting my entire table data range. I'm going to choose a new worksheet to put it on. Um, if you don't give a precise location on an existing worksheet, it will just give a new worksheet. So you generally just click OK to that. So now I've got a pivot table and I'm going to start dragging across my unique identifiers um, because that's what I want in my values. So for example, if I want employee ID as a unique identifier, there's my 49 employees. Um, and let's see how many I've got in the UK compared to the USA by just on my office location. You just drag, double click it and drag it down to the bottom here in the rows. If I wanted to do how many males, uh, how many women and men I've got in each location, I can drag that to combine it in the columns. So that's um, the basics of how you create a pivot table. Now what I'm going to do is customize and format this so it looks less Excel and a bit nicer. So first thing you might notice is um, it keeps auto uh, changing the column width. So I don't want it to do that. I want to fix my column width. So right click on it, go to pivot table options and this one here, auto fit column widths on update. I want to uncheck that. And if there's any empty show cells, I want to show something in there. So I want to show a zero. So I'm going to click OK on that. So now I'm going to select my four columns, so have them all pretty uniform. Next time I um, add something, let's add ethnicity, for example. See, it's keeping those column widths all the same. It's not in, impacting them. Um, so next, I want to format it nicely so that it's less blue and uh, rubbish and a bit more interesting. So go to Pivot Table Design up the top of the ribbon here. And instead of that default style, let's click this drop down and choose something that's a bit... Um, brighter let's say. Um, I quite like this medium blue style because it separates, it gives me a double line for the grand total. What I'm also going to do as well is I like my columns central so I'm going to select the columns from the top there and have my text centralized. You have to do that for all the categories and then separately for the grand total. Um, and you just it comes up when you hover just above the uh, category. I don't like the word grand total. Why not just have total? So you can just type over that and change the name of it. And similarly for my rows, I'll uh, well let's go for the row labels. I'm going to have them central. Now one thing you can't uh, do very easily um, is change. Oh yeah, you can change that that to manually as well. So if I ch change these to location and sex, but I don't want that text showing because it's um, not necessary. So what I'm going to do is 
just change the text color to the same color as the uh, background which is that one by the looks of it and now it looks like it doesn't exist there um, so that's good and I'm just going to make that bold and send central so they're clear category titles so that's how you insert a pivot table now that it's got all my information summarized um, and this, the more advanced feature of customizing it next I might want to create a different pivot table um, so rather than have to go through my raw data again and insert pivot table it's actually quicker and saves less data if you select your pivot table just right click and copy and then paste it so that comes with all those settings I'm just going to press escape to get rid of those marching ants um, so this one for example I can deselect these categories and now I'm going to choose um, let's say department how many people working in different departments in Dundamifelin well that's quick I don't have to select the filters one by one and so on and so forth although um, that's the downside of manually typing these is that you have to do that each time so I'm going to choose department now for that so that's the pivot tables if you want to insert a chart based on that data you can do that directly and sometimes in the past I've um, I've created a range because it does some weird things with pivot charts so here's how you create an array so all I want to do is select that area click equals and I'll um, equals that area so you press shift and enter so you um, select that array so oftentimes I'll then work on this data um, because it's not got all that pivot chart format and I'll insert a chart based on that however you don't need to do that what you can do and I'll show you how to make your chart pivot charts look nice so select the pivot table I'm going to go to insert um, and you don't need to choose the pivot chart thing because it automatically does it so I'm going to choose just a simple um, column never use 3d columns it looks really lame and um, 1990s uh, we're going to use the column doesn't look great on this one because it doesn't exaggerate the difference between the bars so I'm going to go for a bar here but what you'll notice with a pivot chart so the default default formatting it has these things alongside it which I don't like or want so what I'm going to do is right click on one of them and hide all field buttons on the chart so now it's starting to look more normal like a chart um, also we don't need the legend because there's only one category so there's no need to differentiate it um, I don't like the Calibri default on a chart because it's not very legible I like Arial gives a bit more bigger rounded text for accessibility and also we need to make the text bigger than uh, the default so you, just with the whole chart selected anything you apply to the text is um, applied to all aspects I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to make the title uh, a bit bigger oversized so let's say uh, Dundamifelin people by department and these bars look a bit tiny as well so I'm going to extend those uh, wider so what you can do though there is right click and uh, format data series and this gap width here reduce that gap width to something like 20 or 30 percent and those bars will be a lot bolder and clearer for your audience um, you can also change the color scheme so if you want the Dundamifelin people in the sort of Dundamifelin colors I've got an exciting dashboard I'm working on which I'll do in a separate video so this is just the basics of pivot charts you can even change the title to be a bit more aligned with that color scheme and uh, yeah so that charts looking better oh and by the way I tend to uh, in the format chart options I tend to remove the border um, 
because it just looks nicer when placed among other charts and uh, yeah so that's how you insert a chart insert a pivot table and make them look far nicer than the Excel defaults um, I hope you found this video helpful on pivots um, it's great for summarizing data if you like what I do have a look at my um, website eto.blog or exceloftheoffice.com they both go to the same place and um, yeah uh, interact uh, below let me know if this met your needs and by all means um, it'll be most welcome if you'd like to buy me a coffee on my website but until next time when I've got this um, Dunder Mifflin uh, folk from the office people dashboard um, I'm really excited about that so I hope you uh, watch this space if you want to learn how to go up far above and beyond pivot tables and pivot charts and put them on a interactive dashboard that people can slice and dice the data that's coming soon but until then take care